My beard will be all that's left. But that maybe it's meth. Maybe it was meth the whole time. It good. Drink. What is up, everybody? Blue Dog Thirty Five here. I'm joined by uh, Doug. Hi. <laughs> um, we are fans of energy drinks, and uh, Mountain Dew has come out with four new ones. We only have one. Um, it's the original charged Dew. Um, and, uh, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna taste test it for the first time. This is not supposed to be out according to the flyer that I read. This is not supposed to be available until the 14th. They made a mistake. It probably. Um, so it is currently, what, uh, the, the 12th? Yeah, two more days. So according to the flyer that I saw, this isn't supposed to be available for another two days. Um, now, I don't know if it's, like, an actual, like, oh my god, the, you know, the new the new beverage drops on Tuesday. Um, but uh, it's got this funky, like, tab thing that I've never seen before. It's got, like, a tutorial on the side, so let's... Uh, it says tutorial, too. It yeah. doesn't even say, like, yeah, this actually, is how you open. It legitimately says tutorial, and then... Yeah, so um, I'm shooting this with the forward-facing camera, so you probably just saw this flipped. Um, I apologize. I will include a close-up picture or whatever so you can see. Uh, but it says Mountain Dew Amp Game Fuel is specially crafted to give you the boost you need with ingredients shown to improve accuracy and alertness. Made with real fruit juice. Probably meth. Probably. Uh, what we is live it? in Shimokin. This is... <laughs> Power thirst is crystal meth in a can. Um, all right, so uh, as for um, nutritional facts and stuff, uh, not that I care, because, I mean, look at me. In, in all honesty, for for being a quote-unquote energy drink, it has 90 per the whole can, 90 calories. Um, yeah, 90 calories for the entire can, uh, 180 milligrams of sugar, uh, no, sorry, scratch that, um, sodium, which is according to this 8% of the daily value, uh, 24 carbohydrates and 23 grams of sugar and then um, yeah it's got uh, vitamin A vitamin B6 niacin and pantothenic acid whatever the fuck that is it's acid <laughs> uh, maybe that's what it is it d does it say how much caffeine is in it uh, yes, 45 milligrams for 8 fluid ounces. 90 milligrams for the can. What's a nine. monster? Uh, way more. Uh, yeah? I don't know. I'll have to look it up. A monster has, uh, like, a normal 16 ounce a monster. insert box. Has this much. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, so, um, do you wanna, do you wanna, like, bumblefuck through this and sure. figure it, it out? By the way, otherwise, in what we we're talking about nutritional wise you can drink about 10 of these before you have a heart attack that's, that's uh, all. don't 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 take his advice uh, uh drink Do nine you'll be fine blue dog 35 does not condone the whatever but this is a um this is a this is a 16 fluid ounce can and for you uh uh imperial haters 473 mils so they, they couldn't include an extra two mils to make it 475 uh i guess not I mean that would that would probably bow this out flat maybe assholes I know right god damn it pepsi so uh, i yeah that's it pepsi. says to lift this up so ooh oh that's... yeah that that was oh and you actually that's like a little like and you, plastic and you're supposed to slide it back and you slide this oh it's resealable it appears that it's resealable and it's okay so this thing pops up and then the whole unit slides back like a, like the the convertible top. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Seeing if crystal meth works. Oh. Hmm. Right. I like amp better. This tastes like it's got some sort of like um, fake sugar. It doesn't taste like Mountain Dew. It does say original charge do. I'm sure the other ones are better. Um, we are actually going to get some of those later because uh, the store which I purchased these do have them. Get it? Do. Do? They, 
They do. Do they do? They do have them. Uh, so we're gonna get one of the other ones, uh, one of each of the other ones as well, and we're gonna try those. <clears throat> I think the berry has the most potential. I I'm personally looking forward to the cherry. I know he's actually allergic to cherry, so um, including artificial cherry. So he'll probably just take a sip and see. Um, I probably won't die. My beard will be all that's left. I'll send you know it to, who I'm talking to. I'll send it to Alex. <laughs> Ooh, I pulled a Damien. We'll mount it to the wall, and you know, just... I'll, well, what I'll do, I'll glue it to, um, I'll glue it to like one of those like prosthetic chins, and then I'll carve it out so you can wear it and put a strap. They have on those it styrofoam and... heads at Walmart. You can oh use. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll I'll pencil in your eyes and your facial features. I gotta say, I'm not super impressed. I'm not either. It's it's okay, but in all honesty, if it was a monster or this, I'd pick a monster. If it was a rock star or this, I'd pick a rock star. Here's the one thing I will say. Mm -hmm. If I was just waking up and it was the morning... Mm -hmm. And I didn't feel like drinking a straight-on carbonated beverage because this—the the one thing we haven't said is this isn't as carbonated. That is a point that I was I'm, gonna. It yeah, has five percent juice. This, this I think goes along more with their like morning energy line. It tastes a lot like their Kickstart, which is their juice and Mountain Dew combo. So this is like I think this is more combining that with Amp. So it's less of a Mountain Dew, and I think more of like, I don't want to say it's for morning energy, but it, it very it, well could. It be. seems like if I was choosing Monster or this after right waking up to you know like wake up, I might choose this because it's a little easier on the stomach. It's uh, I think I think you're overthinking it. I mean, because that is what you do. You're trying this to... is a critical analysis. No, I, I am critical. <laughs> if if they give it sixty three point seven two liters of carbonation, you're, you're like the this Damien is a of review soft we're reviewing. I know, I know. I have one job in we this can, review. We can't just go it good drink. Um, but no, I mean it's it's okay. Um, I mean I I am kind of versed in. Uh, energy drinks um if i were to pick a favorite i would go with the original amp because this does have the amp logo on it um that is my favorite like my all-time favorite energy drink is definitely regular amp are you sure over speed oh shit it's so good i forgot about it okay do i actually do i still have a can over there somewhere there's probably one buried somewhere in there, but um, there is an energy drink called Speed Energy, and the original version is just phenomenal. It is absolutely the greatest. Um, he was afraid to try it at first, and I was like, "No, you 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 don't understand. You're gonna drink this, and then you're gonna want to get more." It's um, good, and it's, it's hard to get, but it's good. It's the only way that you can get it currently is if you live like somewhere down south, or if you order it online. Um, and they, they sell it in 24 packs. Uh, but what's awesome is if you buy a 24 pack, it's $24. So you pay a dollar per and they're the 16 ounce cans, 16 ounce. Yeah. 16 ounce cans. And, um, they, uh, they, they gouge you a little bit on shipping, but it's all, um, they have to, if they're going to make profit. And I mean, they're shipping a big thing of liquid. So the thing weighs like friggin' 20 pounds, 30 pounds. That doesn't help. So, um, but uh, I actually, I do have a contact with Speed, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to, like, maybe set up some sort of whatever. Look at me shilling Speed in a freaking Mountain Dew <laughs> video. Well, um, I mean, maybe if this was a little better. Well, we still haven't tried... I'm not saying tried, it's bad. It's we still haven't tried the other one. There there are three other ones to try. 
Um, they, they have a berry one, and I feel like the yeah, berry a, one's probably going to be... There's a yellow one, which tropical, is... Tropical. Tropical something. Tropical something Probably other, pineapple mango, like every like other that. fucking tropical um, thing out there. There's a blue one, which is the berry one, which is personally the one that I think <clears throat> and he thinks has the most potential. Um, and I'm actually looking forward to trying the cherry one, because I actually <sighs> really do... I actually really do like cherry. Um, but I do like this whole tab thing. It's kind of reminiscent of the... Um, the uh, Import. Yes, the the monster imports, where they have the um, the little, like, twisty deal. Um, Honestly, it appears I... that this is resealable. Now, I'm not sure about the water tightness. There's nothing coming out, so... Um, I, mean, I, I kind of hope they introduce this to other cans of just I normal like soda. I do like this. Because the, the, the I idea... I genuinely of, like this. Like the, the idea of being able to, you know, have a surge, take it in the car, yeah. and seal it while you drive ten minutes somewhere. <laughs> have a surge. <laughs> in 1999, called, do you watch Reboot? I did. <laughs> I know you Every did. episode. I know you when did. When I was a kid. You know, uh, like 22, 23 years ago. <laughs> Surge is dope. Um, I was like seven when well, it came Burger out. Burger King has Surge, but I don't think... Do they sell, do they sell Surge in... They do, right down in JR's. Shit, really? Yeah. All right. So there's a place down the street from us that sells Surge in a can, I guess. And there's a shop over in... <clears throat> Why am I pointing? You don't know where I'm pointing to. It doesn't even <laughs> fucking matter. Northways! That way! <laughs> Let's go! That's... Yeah, that way. Over there, where you can't see where I'm pointing. It's not at the wall. It's funny, because his arm's going this way, but he's pointing that way. <laughs> That's the... He's actually got a curve in his arm. That's because it, the, the road swoops. Uh, <laughs> you're following the road. <laughs> Alright, so... Let, uh, yeah. What, which one are you talking about? What store? Mount Carmel. There's a, there's a shop. Oh my god. There's a shop in Mount Carmel that sells them. All right. To everyone who is watching this, we are in Shimokin, Pennsylvania. Um, if you know anything of the geography, uh, Mount Carmel is approximately eight miles that way uh, on Route 61. Eight miles. Eight miles. That's nearby. I'll just stroll on down there. Rip shakies. They're coming back. They are? At some point. They were insured. They only really had smoke damage. <laughs> they were insured? <laughs> uh, By the way... It... We went all the way to Mount Carmel. There's a place called Shickies that's, like, freaking awesome. You don't have to describe the Screamer Burger. It's okay if they want to know, though. That... That's not what I was going to say. All I was going to say was... The only reason they're not there right now is because they had a meth lab next door. Not Shickies. Yeah, there the was... thrift store next to them had a meth shop in the back. Yeah, they were they were. Uh... As far as I know, it that wasn't going into the food next door, making everybody flock there. Although with how many people ate there, maybe that was their whole thing. One more, one more, meth in the more. food. People kept coming back. I know I certainly went back, but I didn't exactly go. Well, I I did go through withdrawal. I really wanted a screamer burger, but that maybe it's meth. Maybe it was meth the whole time. Meth burgers. <laughs> it gives it that crunch. Is that is that what it is? It, maybe that's where the heat comes from. I mean, I've never done meth, but <laughs> I think that measured on the Richter scale. Wake up, Grandma! <laughs> Dumb bitch. Uh, all right, so. Uh, Sum this up in one sentence. I would have to say, it's K. Drink something else if you want to. It's K. It's K. It's okay. <laughs> Are you 
a teenage girl? What they don't know is that I cut out five minutes of you going, uh, 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 thinking about what to say. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's, it's okay. I don't know. That's, no. It's dope. Surge is dope. All right, pointing? it's. One of these days. I don't know, but I just like pointing. It, It's good, but it could be better. Okay, so it doesn't have legit sugar. So it has, like, sucrose in it. Okay. I mean, it has real sugar in it, too. High fructose corn syrup. I'm wondering what that aftertaste is, then. Because, like, you know how when you drink a diet soda, you get that, like, weird kind of... Have you ever had a kickstart? Yes. This is more kickstart than anything else. It really is. I bet you a million dollars it's, like, a slightly tweaked formula in a flashy can. I do like this carbon fiber look. Um, there you go. Ah, the light is playing off it, but um, it, it's actually it's actually textured. It's really cool. I don't know how they did that because the can isn't wrapped or anything, so it's like a legit like texture to it. the The can is not wrapped in like a like a plastic thing, but uh, the thing I don't understand users. is. I really hope they're calling it game fuel. I really hope they don't abandon their traditional, yeah, like their seasonal type, their seasonal game fuel. Yeah, because if that's what it becomes, I think they're going to sell a lot less. Because I would much rather buy, you know, any. Like, they had that tropical one that was great. They they had a few ones what that were. What was that one that was really freaking good? The I forget. But do you remember way back when? I'm talking like maybe. God, I'm going to have to call this charged original do game fuel review and nostalgia trip. Um, do you remember back in the day when they did it for um, World of Warcraft? I do. This is like that one two, was this I, is I don't remember what it was called, but it was very good. This the is only, like 2000 and like maybe 13, 2012. It was very good. The red one was my favorite. That was Awesome. I think that was Citrus Cherry. I, it was really uh, good. Oh, no. I, mm, no. You know how, how sometimes you once? drink something and you get a burp and you're like, that's not bad. It's like, no. Mm. <laughs> that, that was unpleasant. Now, is it just because of what you ate before this? or No, is it I, it's that. It's this? That's not good. Nasty burps. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> One out of zero. Nasty burps. Kind of like the one game fuel that did suck. We still Oh, have... you mean the one that we have like a full rack of right over there? <laughs> we only we only drank two cans. No. It was that bad. No, because I didn't... It was like a mango flavor? No. It was mango heat. Yeah, it was a mango flavor. Habanero and mango, and it was... I didn't want to... I wasn't sure if I'd like it or not, so I tried it. Like, I tried a tiny sip of it, and I was like, mm 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 and I gave it to him, because, you know, he's he'll drink almost anything. No. And he tried it, and he's like, Ugh. so we have, somewhere over there, we have, like, almost a full case of that shit. And, and by the way, <laughs> it has nothing to do with the fact that it has heat to it. It just, It's just a shit flavor. Shit. Yeah. I like spicy food. <laughs> I like spicy things. That's crap. But, um, no, I, the, my one concern beyond anything is I could see myself drinking this on occasion just for something different in the morning like I said but if this is what game fuel is going to be I, I, I'm I kind of disappointed uh, I would rather them I, I mean maybe they'll focus more on creating alternate do flavors their, their Mary Berry was a very good. Yeah, the uh, the holiday brew was. I'm kind of disappointed they didn't do cans of it. They only did bottles for some reason. Uh, at least in our area. What the holiday brew? No, the Mary Berry. Oh, okay. Or or I was gonna say berry I, I bought like three or four cases of holiday brew. Holiday brew, in my opinion, was better than the the pomegranate one. Hmm. Um, and they need to bring back Do USA because God damn it. Yeah, Do is pretty good. I drank I drank the last can of it 
like a month ago. Yeah. We we stockpiled. It ran last yeah, I the found, summer before this one. I found and, a uh, I found a case that we hadn't broken into. I was originally I bought a whole bunch of cases and I was originally going to try and like sell them on eBay or something. We kept and drinking them. We just kept drinking them and um, they were too good. I mean, it's worth it. It was worth it. They please bring back to us a. That's all we ask huh. for. All right, so the sell-by date is May 6th, 2019. So it doesn't have... I think the sh- that's... You think it's because it's the real juice? I think it's ca- because it has okay. white... white. It. I think that's Shelf why this... life isn't super great. I'm going to tell you, get cans now <laughs> if you're a collector, because if, if I'm a betting man, two to three years from now, not even, this isn't going to be around in this form. Yeah, probably I, not. I don't think this is going to work for them. Like I said, it's not that it's a bad flavor. I just think overall, if that's the direction they're going with Game Fuel, they're mm. going to lose so much money Yeah, well, over selling the 12 they're gonna packs. Do, I don't think they're going to they're gonna switch it up like that because the Game Fuel is so big for them for like... Um, pardon me. Uh, for like um, uh, endorsements or uh, sponsorship deals with... Um, video games or whatever, because like last last year they had the the goddamn last year they had the ones with Forza. Now I get the hiccups. Shit, fat guy with hiccups. Um, last year they did the one with Forza. They did it with um, um, Call of Duty. Didn't they do it with Fallout Four when Fallout Four I came out? I think they did. Yes. I don't think they had a game fuel, but they had like some sort of sponsorship thing where you could like do something, but um. It's, I think it's, I think what they're doing is they're, they're attaching the brand, brand, my brand, uh, they're attaching the brand to sell more, to try and sell more because it's like, oh, I like game fuel. Maybe this is, you know, I'll grab this and, well, oh, look at that. It's cool. Cause like whatever. So well, let's, let's face it. Amp is not as big as Rockstar. It's not. It's not as big as Monster. It's not, and it sucks because Amp is my second favorite. Uh, and I think what they're trying to do is... <coughs> Do's trying to get more people onto Amp. I think once they start seeing Amp sales go up because people try this, and it's like, I wonder See, what original Amp tastes like. They've had Amp for literally ever. Like, I remember... I would get... I think, wasn't Amp before Monster? No. Amp was not around before Monster, but I remember, like, 2000... Hey, Google, when did Monster come out? According to Wikipedia, Monster Energy is an energy drink introduced by Hanson Natural Company in April 2002. Okay, so Monster was around since 2002. I remember the first time I tried Monster was maybe 2006, 2007. Um, And then... I had been drinking Amp before then. So, like, I don't even know. Okay, Google, when did Amp come out? According to Wikipedia, at the time of its introduction in 2001, Amp Energy was initially distributed under the Mountain Dew soft drink brand. Do you want a little more context? No. No, thank you. It's a machine. You don't have to be nice to it. (laughs) She's a nice lady. (laughs) Uh, her She's name's a... Deborah. Hello, how can I help you? You can fucking suck it. I don't understand. <laughs> we'll show her later. My robot emotions don't allow me to <laughs> understand. <laughs> I want to know what it feels like to love. Uh, Centennial Man 2, the one without Robin Williams because he's dead. 